Hello, and welcome to Physics 132 for the spring 2021 semester. I'm Dr. Togerson, and I'm the instructor for both the lecture and the lab portions of this course. This syllabus will only cover the lecture portion of the course. The lab portion will be discussed in an additional syllabus in the lab section on Moodle below. Throughout this syllabus and in the lab syllabus, most content is delivered both as videos like this one, as well as text like you can see on the left. The content in the video and the text is exactly the same, so feel free to engage with the material in any way you see fit. Moreover, I know this syllabus is maybe a little bit longer than you're used to, but this link serves a purpose. Not only am I trying to be as comprehensive as possible on the policies of the course, but also I want to explain my reasoning for those policies so that they seem less arbitrary. Also embedded throughout the syllabus are a series of simple questions on the most important points. To make sure that you are clear on how the course operates, you should answer each question. You have an unlimited number of tries to get them right. While these questions are not graded as such, you do need to answer all of them correctly in order to get access to the homework for the course. First things first, I want to acknowledge how hard the last 10 months have been for all of us, being locked down, isolated, worried about our health and the health of our family members, and the additional unique responsibilities that being at home all the time have put a tremendous strain on all of us. And I want to congratulate all of you for working so hard in the face of all of these challenges. To keep your education on track and to keep learning in the face of all of this is really quite an accomplishment and you should be proud of yourselves. While vaccines are on the horizon, the challenges of the pandemic are obviously still present. As such, your first priority is to take care of yourself and your family, however you happen to define that term. Please reach out to me about any issues you might be having with regards to not only the course, but also accessing other services. I fully believe that UMass Amherst has your best interests at heart, but sometimes bureaucracy can move a little slow. If you need someone to give the university a nudge, or you need to know where to go to get a particular service, or even you just need $20 to eat, let me know and I will do what I can to help you out. Please keep an eye on the UMass Amherst COVID-19 page for the most up-to-date information regarding UMass specifically, and the CDC for general information. In particular, I would like to point out the Center for Counseling and Psychological Health, which provides mental health services, primarily by telephone, at 413-545-2337, and is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Please avail yourself of these services if you need them, even if you are away from campus. With regards to this course, I want you to be successful. Whatever success means to you and only you can define it, my goal is to help you achieve it. While I taught this course both in the spring and in the fall, gaining experience along the way, the remote version of this course is still a work in progress. Your feedback is therefore not only welcome, but essential to making this course the best it can possibly be. To help you achieve your definition of success, there are several resources available. First, there will be multiple Zoom help sessions offered throughout the week with both myself and the myriad of teaching assistants who will be helping us throughout this course. These help sessions are visible and accessible through the Google Calendar on Moodle to which you can subscribe. You are not only welcome, but even encouraged to just log into the Zoom sessions and work on your homework or prepare for the exams in these Zoom rooms, getting help in real time. If, on the other hand, your schedule does not permit attending these sessions, or if you prefer to interact via text, there is also a forum at the top of the Moodle page where you are encouraged to ask and answer questions. If your current habits are not yielding the results that you want, please make an appointment to come talk to me and we'll work something out. I know quite a few study techniques that I have used, as well as techniques used by my colleagues in undergraduate and graduate school. And I'm sure together we can work to find study techniques that'll work for you. Over the course of this class, 
I hope that you learn to appreciate what I call the physics way of thinking. Learning new ways of thinking and approaching problems in a new way is not only, I think, generally important, but also key to the development of new scientific ideas. I feel that the huge advancements in modern science at the intersections of various disciplines bear this idea out. Not only does science benefit from the strengths of the different disciplines, but it also benefits from the strengths of the different people participating in science and their backgrounds. If there are some aspects of this course that are preventing you from learning or making you feel excluded, please let me know as soon as possible. Together we'll work to develop strategies to meet both your needs and the requirements of the course. Beyond the services offered within the course, the university offers several resources. I encourage you to visit the Office of Disability Services to determine how you can improve your learning. As the University of Massachusetts Amherst is committed to making reasonable, effective, and appropriate accommodations to meet the needs of students with disabilities and help create a barrier-free campus. If you need official accommodations, you have the right to have these met. There are also a range of other resources on campus, including the Writing Center, the English as a Second Language Program, and the Learning Resource Center. Links to all of these different resources are available on the next slide, which you can advance below in a nice table. So on with the details.